Since I had arrived in the forest town of Riften, the Temple of Mara was welcoming, and I quickly found every way to help them that I could. The light of the goddess was strengthening me every day for the battles to come, preparing me so that I may fulfill my purpose. The road ahead may be dangerous, but my faith cannot be shaken now. I've come much too far for that. Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Wildlander. We're here with Jonius the Pious, we're out camping with our buddy Koznak with his new dwarven armor. Um, here in front of Riften, and um... At the end of the last episode, we ba basically uh, did some work for the Temple of Mara here in Riften. We got a new ability which gave us a magic resistance. I was a little bit confused. It turns out there's actually more to to do for to get Mara's full blessings, but that'll be in the journeys to come. For now, I think we're going to um, just take a look at our journal. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Actually, let's o open our map. And I think today we're going to focus on some more action. Last episode was a little more story focused. That quest didn't have as much combat in it. So I think today we're going to do some missives, get a bandit leader here. Then we're going to come over to this location and retrieve Maramal's Orcish Mace of Despair. Maramal is in fact Dinya Balu's husband and another priest of Mara here. He's actually the guy who goes in the bee and barb and preaches to the people drinking. Um, he's even a little more uh, religious th than uh, for Jonius' taste, so he's a very devout man. But we're going to help him out get his mace back. First, let's just destroy this campfire. Why are you walking over the campfire, Koznak? I was just about to clean it up when you step right over the hot coals, and you don't even care. Have you been drinking again? I hope not, Koznak. I hope not. Alright, you can have a drink once in a while, but... Just think about what you're doing. He is foolhardy, so we gotta keep that in mind. Actually, why don't we talk to our Let's buddy, Koznak? What is your level at now? He should be... Let's talk about your stats. Uh, give me an overview of your stats. Now he's level 14, so that's good. He's the same level as us. Um, and, yeah, he's got 706 armor rating. 215 carry weight. He's looking good. I, I'm feeling good about Koznak, so long as I don't accidentally hit him. If there's anything I we'll be good. Do for you, um, do now let's see. Why don't we start moving towards our first objective of the day. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get this bandit, bandit bounty cleared out. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've done a lot of stuff off-screen since the end of the last episode. As you can see, we have a ton of gold because we were selling a lot of stuff. And, um, yeah, pretty much just um, buying useful things. We have a, a ton of really powerful scrolls and things like that now as well. Um, so we're going to keep uh, making use of that. Before we go any further, before we get off the, off the trail, we should go ahead and get... Um, why don't we do our healing aura for Koznak first? There we go. And, um, let's get one on for ourselves as well. Um, here, let's see. I think what we're gonna do to get to this place is kind of go around the, the outside of Riften here. So let's just, um, kind of skirt around the edge. It's pretty much, yeah, we gotta head to the southeast here. So let's just head that way. And, uh... Yeah. I feel like Jonius is in a good position. Oh wait, we're, we're under attack by somebody. Oh god. Oh god, what the hell? Oh god, we got a damn vampire here? Oh man, okay. Oh god, okay. Well that was a death hound. That was a goddamn vampire. Alright, well, uh... Are there any others? I think there's just an elk. 
Alright, well let's let's search her. Alright, she had vampire dust. Yeah, that was yeah. Usually the vampires don't come out during the day. Do we got another one? We got another one? Oh we got wolves. There we go. There we go. Alright. Woo! A lot of stuff out here. You good, Koznak? We're right outside the city walls here, too, man. Crazy. Let's see here. Um, let me get some healing hands on you. Hey, my hangover is gone. There you go. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Did the Death Hound have anything? Yeah, this is crazy. Usually stuff like this doesn't happen this close to the city walls in broad daylight, but... At least we dealt with it pretty well. Alright, let's go deal with these bandits, um, and collect that bounty right after. And we got more of these goddamn wolves over here. Um, I think we actually have to head along the side of this mountain here. Hello, wolfies. Bonk. Cosnack, don't get in the way. There we go. Man, I don't like how Koznak just chugs his frickin' potions. Hold on, can I, uh, heal you up? Alright. You're fine. Um. But, yeah, we're just going to, uh, focus on these two objectives for the day. Um, just doing a couple of missives, exploring, seeing if we can come across some good loot. Uh... And after that, we'll see how long that takes. I, I'm not entirely sure how long it'll take. Looks like actually there's a little couple of bandits over at this uh, this spot here. Why don't we go ahead and uh, pay them a visit? Never come Hello here. there. There we go. Man. Yeah, we gotta keep our blur up when we go fight ranged enemies, especially when we go to that bandit place in a second. So, that's one thing I, I need to remember. Man, that was just a, a level 12 bandit with a wooden bow, and he, he took out so much of my health. Alright, let's just be careful. Um, I'm gonna get blur again. Not sure why I'm putting it in both hands. But, uh, okay, we got an apprentice lock here. Let's just pop this open. Um... But yeah, I think um, doing these quests to help help the uh, the Temple of Riften, we did some more stuff for them. Um, they had to they had another quest, or, or Dinya had one where we had to distribute the warmth of Mara by talking to 20 people in the town. We did that, and we got basically just some some uh, potions of restore health. It wasn't anything that good. Um, a moonstone ingot. Okay, wooden battle staff. All right. Whatever. Yeah. Let's see. I guess we could take these. We can always make kindling out of arrows to start fires with as well. Um, yeah, so let's keep going along here. Um, we should also get into the habit of casting transmute muscles because um, that is a very good spell to have. And now we've got another freaking bunch of wolves up ahead. Why don't I just get... Uh, Let's see. Can I get this? Alright, now we got stone flesh. And then let's get transmute. We don't have enough to dual cast that either. And we just ran out of blur. There we go. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Uh-oh, sounds like something's going on. Uh, we're gonna ignore that for now. Um, none of our business. We got stuff to do. And before we get up to this bandit place, let's just go ahead and get Blur again. Because they'll definitely have ranged weapons. And, uh, let's see here. Alright, we're almost there. I think it's like... It should be up here. Yeah, I think this should be up around where the... Okay, I can already see them. Alright. Oh man. 
There we go. Oh. Well, they fell off the cliff. Alright, we got another one. Alright. Okay, Kosnak, you got him. Come on, Kosnak, finish him. Yeah, the other guy slipped down here. Here, let me check the other guy. Alright. Alright, very well. Um, they didn't have much, but Kosnak finished this guy off. Feral. Um, why don't we go ahead and use that poison on our staff? Nice view here. And, uh, yeah, let's go take on this, um, this bandit cave. And, uh, let's get ourselves ready here. It's kind of hard to see the staff. You gotta, uh, have an enchantment on it in order to see it. It's kind of weird. Okay, as we step inside, um, I'm not gonna harvest anything. I'm just going to clear these guys out to start with before our enchantments Got run a bad out. Feeling. We'll be fine, don't worry. Okay. Alright. Somebody's... Okay, he's the guy's up there. And they're sleeping here. Okay. Oh, damn. Alright. There we go. No problem. Alright, we got these bandits. Let's see what they had. Um, collect bounty from Manorial. I think we'll go do that immediately. Um, and then right after that, we will figure out what our next steps are from there. Um, let's leave see. Any of them alive. That's right, Koznak. Let's see what the uh, chest had. And then we're going to pick all the mushrooms and stuff in here. Um, okay, this has a ch trap on it. Let's go ahead and get our knock. I'm just going to let the trap fall. Okay. Oop. Alright. And let's see what we get. Some sapphires. Alright. Uh, grand soul gem with a grand soul in it. That's nice to find. That's a really nice find. We can definitely enchant with that. Um, and that's something we should also start doing is like soul trapping some uh, some stuff um, we could definitely get into that especially for enchanting but uh, all right we're just gonna clear this place out and then we're gonna go back to Riften to collect the bounty for this and take it from there all right looks like there's actually a, a chain here if we pull this door open um, let's see there's another room in here and uh, oh my well there's a dead body here. Lifenar. Report Lifenar's death to his family at Hartwood Mill on the... Okay. Well, I guess we gotta go tell this guy's family that he, did, he was killed by these savage bandits, but... Um, spell Tome Lightning Sparks? I guess we could learn that. Um, Alright, well, it uh, doesn't seem like there's much else in here of, of use. Man, that's too bad. I feel bad for this guy, but let's carry on out of here and uh, let's head back to Riften and get this bounty. Alright, here we are inside of Mistvale Keep. Let's go talk to Anuriel. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. Uh, the bandit leader of Broken Helm Hollow is dead. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Alright, great. And, um, she actually does have an option here to buy a house in the city. This is 15,000 gold. Now, if You're we take a look at our gold, it's yeah, almost it? there. We're at 12,000 right now. Um, mm. and this would actually be pretty good, because if we look at the tenets of our religion, um, one of them is to own one or more houses. Um, so this would actually be a good place to start, just getting a house in here in Riften. Um, Mara also likes it when we are generous to beggars and children, and we should also try to get married. I think a good starting point to getting married would be to buy a house so that we have somewhere to start our family, so I think Jonius will be 
may be working on that. Um, we still need to make a little bit more gold. So, um, we'll come back to Noriel when it's time for that. Um, let's see, we also have Wylandria, the court wizard here. And, uh, I already bought a bunch of stuff from her earlier, but she has really good scrolls here. Like, Fire Rune, for sure, take that. Flame Cloak, Frost Cloak, Frost Rune. We should just take these. Um, and, yeah. We shouldn't be afraid to spend our money, because we have a lot of it. And eventually we'll have enough to just buy that house. And, um, yeah, we'll be good then. But let's see, um, why not get another Flame Metronac? And, uh... Yeah, she's also got Storm Thrall and stuff. Let's see, we've got a lot of scrolls here. I think we're good on summoning stuff for now. Um, let's hold on to our gold and not go below 10,000 there. Um, okay, so now... Oh yeah, here's the other thing we gotta do. We gotta report Leafnar's death. So let's just do that, just because it's the right thing to do. And that's like something Jonius would do. And then we'll go from, um, from Heartwood Mill to uh, the location of the Orcish Mace, which is... I'm pretty sure it's in the, uh... Okay. Alright, well, um, it should say on the missive. Um, but we got Koznak ready to roll. Let's get going. And let's go to Heartwood Mill. Um... As Jonia steps inside... Um, let's see, is somebody in here? Oh, there you are. Grosta. Here for work? Um, Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. I found Leifnar's body. No, it can't be. Oh my. Yeah. And all this time I was thinking he'd been unfaithful to me. But it's true. I feel so stupid. I've been a fool, wasting my time sitting here helpless when I could have sent help sooner. Don't blame yourself. Perhaps this is all my doing. What's done is done. Here, I want you to have this. Bringing me closure was kind of you. Alright, she gives us a steel battle axe of dismay, um, just uh, I guess uh, as a reward. Um, yeah, it's alright. Um, obviously she doesn't have much to share, so uh, we, we really appreciate it, but we're just doing the right thing. You know, Jonius just wants to help people and spread the good and love everywhere he can. Um, yeah. We're not going to take their chicken's eggs or no anything. Breaks for and, uh, yeah. Now, let's, uh, let's see. We gotta go... We gotta go to, um... To the north here. And find this place. So, that's where we're going to be off to now. So, why don't we just... Let's see here. Um, I think we're going to have to go this direction. Yeah, we'll, we'll make our way over there. Um, hopefully nothing too crazy happens on the way to our next objective. Just like a little pond here, the hunters are doing their usual thing. Looks like there's some goldfish in here. What do goldfish do? Let's check. Restore stamina, water breathing, fortify armor reading. Those are all pretty good effects to have. Um, Die. Man, these hunters. Oh, okay. I think they hit it a few times. I think I see. I think they hit it at least once. I'll kill you. Man. You guys are not that good, are you? Alright, well, uh... Looks like we're, uh... We're panting pretty heavily now. Alright, looks like there's some kind of tower in the distance um, as we're going along. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that we're protected here. And let's go ahead and get Blur. There we go. Let's see, Rift Watchtower. I can hear some voices. That sounds like orcs. Hello there. This guy hasn't noticed me yet. 
Oh, okay. You picked up. There we go. There we go. Let's go, Cosnack. There you go. Who's next? There's still another one. Let's go ahead and get a little poison on our staff here. 93 points should be good. Alright, he's got a two-hander, so let's look out here. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's see. What did you have? Um, nothing that good. Some orcish uh, helmet. Orcish warhammer. Orcish warhammer of reaping? Um, I guess we could take it. Halgird's Tale, Heavy Armor book. Um, we don't really need Heavy Armor. Um, I guess we could sell it, though. There's a nice view from here. What is this? Uh, glass Arrows and uh, Orcish Heavy Bow. I think the Dwarven Bow is better for our companion. And, uh, yeah, the sky is looking very ominous as the sun is starting to set. At least it's a nice view from here throat of the world in the background. Um, yeah, why don't we just carry on with our journey until we get to the next spot. Let's see what these other orcs had. Doesn't seem like there was much else in here. Um, a little bit of garlic. War rock warbler egg? Okay. Uh, what did you have? Bokul. Borkul. I'll take your gold. <laughs> Alright, well, I think there was, there were two down here. Yeah, this guy. He had a lot of meat on him. Alright, whatever. Let's keep going, and we'll take it when we get to our next place. Hmm. There's like a little settlement here. Guard patrolling. Serethi farm. Looks like they're growing nerd roots back here. Not much use of paper and learning. I can throw a punch with the best of Apparently we can harvest these and they won't mind. Uh for real? Like we could just take these? I mean that feels bad. I don't I feel like we shouldn't even take them. Um What is going on? All right, there's something going on here. Somebody's shooting magic. There's a troll in the distance. Who is this person? It's an Imperial Mage. I think they're just shooting at a wolf. Velen Magia. What are you doing, Velen? Put that magic away. What are you guys doing? Yeah, hey, I guess they're just guarding this valuable Nernroot farm. Uh, Serethi Farm Novice? I saw somebody, yeah. Somebody's right here. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. There's a lot of Nern roots around here. Actually, I'm growing it if you hadn't noticed. I'm the only person alive that can cultivate Nern root from a seed to a fully grown plant. Really? How did you accomplish such a feat? I had quite the mentor. He taught me everything he knew about the Nern root and its strange properties. Hmm. I haven't seen him in many years. I wonder what became of him. Um, are you an alchemist? I used to be. There isn't much time for that in my life anymore, I'm afraid. Okay. I actually owned a shop in the Vex City. Perhaps someday... You seem quite Is exhausted. Is that obvious? Between the farm chores, cultivating my supply of Nernroot, and keeping a tight rein on my sister, Adori, there's little time for rest. Hmm, I could help you if you like. Really? That would be a pleasant change. One of the ingredients I need to cultivate Nernroot are Jasbe grapes. The acidic content of the juice is perfect for the soil. Hmm. I need 20 of them for my current crop. Uh, Good luck finding those Jasbe grapes. Alright, I'll do rare. what I can. It's funny that we could just straight up harvest all of her Nernroots and she wouldn't... I, I, I guess she wouldn't mind. It, 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 they're not listed as uh, being... S stolen, which is weird, so, um, anyway, why don't we come back here later, maybe we can help this Nernroot farmer, the only one in all of Tamriel, I guess, alright, well, let's, uh, we're almost to our next, uh, dungeon, and the sun is setting, so, 
Who did they shoot? Perg? Just a random guy here. Huh, weird. Alright. Uh oh, that looks like a troll. Alright, let's go help this guard against the troll before he gets his ass kicked. Alright, I think he, uh, he, he got killed by the troll. We weren't able to save him. Oh man, that sucks. We were just too late. Alright, well... And then these guys were coming up the road at the same time. They could have helped too. But we were too late to the scene, unfortunately. So, let's keep going. I think we're getting pretty close. Alright, here we are. Snapleg Cave. And as we arrive at the ominous entrance to this dark and treacherous cave, we can see there are remains of what appear to be possibly Forsworn, but this is definitely not Forsworn, because we're all the way on the eastern side of the map. There's no Forsworn here, so this is just straight up witch, witch activity. Um, you can get those Hagraven feathers, and maybe that's a foretelling of what's to come. Cosnag, are you just looking at this dead goat's head on a, st on a spike? On a sticky s stick. Alright, let's get you all ready. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cast our spells now before we enter this cave. Um, Alright, so as we arrive here, um, just a dark corridor going down into the cave. And uh, a couple of rat's heads on spikes. Very lovely. Or skeever heads, I should say. Uh oh, looks like we got some skeevers right here. Alright, there we go. Um, I think I'm gonna cast Candlelight actually so we can see better. Don't wanna stumble into any traps. I can hear a damn troll. Um, let's take these tap roots. We're probably gonna just clear this hall out if we survive. Um, anyway, so. Okay, alright, let's go ahead and get our, um, let's get, which, which summons should we use here to open this up? I feel like we should, let's get a Frost Atronach. Alright, there we go. Let's get out to the side here. Okay, there we go. There we go. They got a damn troll in here? There we go. Alright. Alright, who's next? Man, look at this. A lot of tap roots and stuff in here. I think I can hear spiders. Not a fan of spiders. Um, let's take this stuff. Whoa, okay. Um, eh, it's alright. Probably find better stuff in here. What you have? Okay. Glass dagger, actually, hold on. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. Alright, let's see. Looks like there's some stuff up here, too. A staff of paralysis, we'll take that. Fortify carry weight, sure. Alright, our frost atronach despawned. That's alright. Um,. We can get another one easy as pie. Alright, let's just keep going. These witches were brewing up some bad brew in their cauldrons, but now we're setting their cloaks aflame with our battle staff. Uh-oh. And we know what this means. We got some damn spiders up ahead, so I think it might be useful to actually get another summon. Um, flame Atronach might be good here. Oh yeah, let's get that. Oh, that's a very big frostbite spider. Let's see, do we have... Throwable flame powder? Okay, that'll light him on fire at least. Okay. Oh man, oh man. There we go, we got him, we got him. Oh boy. Wait, hold on. I, I meant to extract the venom. God damn it. I meant to extract the venom. 
Well, we got a bunch of raw spider meat and animal fat. I didn't mean to harvest from him. Uh, we're gonna drop all of that. Um, hey, Cosmac, I need to trade some stuff with you. I accidentally yes, butchered a, spi a giant spider. Can I give you some of that? Um, let's see, what can I give you? I think we're gonna drop the steel battle axe of dismay, because that's not really worth anything to us. Um, and the Orcish Warhammer of Reaping, I'm just gonna hold on let's to because I don't want Koznak equipping it. Ugh, alright, let's get over this thing. Oh, crap! A freaking trap right there scared the crap out of me. Oh, god damn it. Alright, well, we got rid of that giant spider. Let's just keep going here. Um, hold on, did we extract the venom from him, though? There we go. Gotta get that spider venom, it's so important, man. Alright, let me get my stamina cover recovering. Um. Oh yeah, we got more of these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get a flame cloak. And these are good because even if we get knocked down, we'll keep doing damage to them. Alright, there's Koznak. There we go. We're lighting them aflame. And they're trying to bite us. There we go. Big swarm of freaking frostbite spiders here. Alright, they're poisoning Cosmac. I can't see my damn staff, which I don't like. Yeah, Blur... I, I feel like Blur needs to be changed, how it represents visually, because it looks like I'm just invisible, which I don't like, because then I, don't, I can't see when I'm ready to swing my staff, and when I'm... Yeah, so... Alright, we just gotta level up. Let's take a look at that. Um, yeah, the Blur is, like, it's too much. It, it makes you too, like... I get that it's supposed to represent the effect, but it makes it hard to see myself. Um, look how good our speech is. Hold on, I think we have the wrong amulet equipped too. This whole time we should have that equipped. I always forget to change amulets too, that's the other thing. Alright, let's go ahead, let's see which of these should we put our perk point into. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we should put this next one into actually. Um, I guess we could go to alteration with this. We could get magic resistance. Um, that would be nice. This is improved mage armor, but this is only if we aren't wearing any armor, which we are. And uh, uh, I think we're gonna have to spend some time thinking about what to, where to put this. Um, so we'll come back to that later. Um, all right, let's get the venom from these guys. Very cool lot of it to get. Look at this. There we go. And, uh, more spiders, okay. Let's go ahead and, um, I'm gonna recast the stone flesh. And I'm going to also get another flame cloak, I think. Actually, let's just see here. What do we have? Oh, we got a big one. Alright. Let's get a summon here. Alright. We gotta get a, uh... Let's see, anything else that I can shoot at, at these guys? I don't want to do anything that can damage my follower, though. Uh, we do have those fire runes and stuff, though, too. I just hit him. Alright, that got him. Alright, good job, Flame Metronoc. Extract Venom? Alright. Okay. Depth level chest. Let's get our Scroll of Knock here. Scroll of Knock rank 1. And let's just pop you open. There we go. And, uh, okay. Nothing that good. Um, whatever. Alright. Um, let's just keep going along. Man, there sure was a big 
spider nest here, but it looks like we've cleaned most of them out. Um, I'm not sure... Yeah, there we go. Okay, Orcish Mace of Scorching. I don't think that's what we came here for, but I, I guess we could grab it. Um, we should probably get a Transmute as well. Alright, let's carry on here a little further. And there's more witches up ahead. So... Alright. Let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna get a Resist Magic. Sure. There we go. Easy. Um, are there any others? Okay. Um, breathing Water. Training book for alteration. I hear people coming. Oh god, that's not good. Oh god. Alright, good job, Koznak. I can hear a damn hag raven. Um, let's go ahead and... Should we get one more summon? Flame Metronok? Alright, Flame Metronok, do your thing. Oh, there she is. She's right there. There we go, Serene. Anyone else in here? Okay. Well, there's a Spriggan in here. Um, I think that was pretty much it. I think that was the boss, that Hag Raven, Serene, yeah. Um, let's see, she didn't have much on her, but we'll take it. Um, what about you? Yeah, nothing much on you either. Um, it looks like they were keeping a Spriggan captive here. Um, I guess we could open the lock, but I don't know if it'll be hostile. Well, if it is, we'll just have to beat it up. And then we'll take the tap root, but... Let's see if this will... Okay, we gotta level up. Alright. We're not here to fight you. Looks like it's getting stuck on the, uh... On the cage. Alright, well, let's take a look around here. Um... Scholar's Guide to Nymphs, speech increase, very nice. Um, soul Gems, take those. And, uh, some poisons, sure. Sure, we'll take that. Okay, looks like the Spriggan is leaving. Or it's, yeah, it's going for the exit. Here, let me get the exit for you, buddy. Alright, you can go. You're free to go. Look at this, we helped the Spriggan out from being tortured and killed by the Hag Ravens. But, um, alright, looks like we got our uh, boss chest here, a little alchemy lab. Um, not sure if there's anything worthwhile in these barrels. Alright, just always worth checking. Um, let's go ahead and get our scroll of knock ready, and let's get this open. What can I do? Oop. Alright, and here we go. We got some robes of novice, whatever. Ring of Replenishing, Marmal's Orcish Mesa Despair. We're gonna have to take that. Um, nothing else that's that good. We already know Candlelight, of course, but we could sell the book. Um, the, no the robes we can sell. Um, and Cosnac, let me just trade those things yes, to you. So I'm gonna give you this and this. And, uh, give you this, and this, and alright, you can carry all of that. He might start using the two-hander, because he has a better skill in that. So, yeah, we'll just take it back from him later. Um, okay, and this just exits out into this room. We already got that stuff from there. And, uh, I guess this goes up here. And, uh... Yeah, looks like we're on our way out of here, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so here we are outside. Um, we got a good amount of loot from that, um, from that place. We got a, I think we got a Staff of Paralysis, pretty cool. Um, we got a Return Maramal's Mace, and we got a bunch of other loot. 
in addition to that. Um, and uh, I think we're going to just start heading back to Markarth now. Where I keep saying Markarth. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? It's Riften. We're going back to Riften. That's where we're going, and I will see you when we get back there, unless something interesting happens, which hopefully it doesn't. Um, and uh, yeah, we're we're making progress with Jonius, and I think our next goal is going to be to get enough money to buy that house in Riften. And then maybe he can start working on those other goals, like finding someone to be, be married to, and um, starting a family, maybe. Those are all good goals um, for Jonius, but uh, looks like we got some Storm Cloaks patrolling here. Hopefully they don't start fighting anybody, but um, yeah, let's just see. I think if we carry along this road... Yeah, why don't we actually cut across and then we'll we'll get back to Mark or uh, Rifton. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're back at Mara's temple here in Rifton. Let's go talk to Mara Maul and tell him that we've returned his mace. That we've recovered it, and it is his, and he's right there. Hello. Brilliant. I have your orcish mace of despair. Thank you. Here. This is for you. Awesome. And there we go, we get 750 septums. Not bad. Um, do you accept charity? I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. Uh, I'd like to donate. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Alright, there we go. May you return to her benevolence and safety. And you too. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Um, so with that, we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna take a little swig of water. I think we've we've done our good deed for the day. We've retrieved this mace for the priest of Mara. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm trying to move the camera, but it's okay. Well. Uh, Alright guys, that's all we have for today. Um, just had a weird little glitch there, we had a console to fix it, but it's no big deal. Um, so I feel pretty good about where Jonius is at right now. His goals are developing every day, he's getting stronger, we've got a lot of money to work with, and um, if you enjoyed this, be sure to drop a like, comment, you know all of that, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.